There are no words in 280 characters that can say what needs to be said. To today, June the 5th, 2018, we need relief from the doom and gloom that that, that surrounds and scares us. Working with young people at, at, at our local university a couple of years ago, one of uh, the young men who was the president of our local youth group before, uh, when we first started, said it, it can't be all doom and gloom. So I, I wrote a little short brochure called A Vision. And, and it's a very imaginative way of seeing how the, the, the United States uh, could be if it had the voters' rights amendment to the Constitution and, and empowered the people of this country to truly make their own policy and to, and to create a government that implements the policy of the people. And, and, and today what I want to do in the five minutes left to me today is to imagine for a moment that we had all of the very same resources that we have today, but we just simply made the choice to put those resources to peaceful unit, uh, to, to peaceful ex, uh, efforts. And, and, and we just simply said that we would do in the next 10 years just what, uh, uh, as Kennedy said, we would put a man on the moon in 10 years, and we did it. You know, so what I'm proposing today is not anything imaginative. I am not talking about science fiction. I'm talking about the reality of the world we live in today that is armed to the brink of self-destruction. All over the world there are nuclear weapons and horrible. In addition, in every little country there are just these horrible armaments of, of, of destructive war, and war exists all over the world today. And I spent the day before yesterday talking for 36 minutes about that war and what it did to the children and representing the children uh, as being why I do what I do. And so in a way continuing today though in the same vein but in the next five minutes I, I want to, to try to imagine how a future could be if we use those same trillions of dollars that we are just throwing away in wasteful weapons of war, they just fall by the wayside and do nothing but, but take money to, to, to create. But we use all of those same resources and we just simply do two things. One is that we commit ourselves to energizing and, and retrofitting our entire inter interstate highway system in the next 10 years. We turned the switch on in 10 years, and we could produce from outer space using uh, today's technology all of the energy we need from outer space to fully energize that grid in, in, in safe and sane technology that is off the shelf, workable today. Our, our vehicles could just pull up on the interstate highway system and you could drive anywhere in this great country for free. That is it. They are freeways. They are not toll roads. They are freeways there for everybody and our commerce to operate freely, but with a system that operates under every single car that is the, the, the both the battery and the, the power module converter that moves cars everywhere, but you still have to drive them. You still have a little gasoline engine uh, generator on there that will get you pretty much anywhere you want to go to buy the gasoline to do that, to charge your battery. But uh, there, uh, this is all the technology today. We could do that in 10 years, folks. Imagine that. The first hour or so today you go to work in order to pay 
for your transportation to get you to and from work. That's a cost imposed upon the worker. And so you, you work you know, your first hour or so at least every morning uh, paying for your vehicle and your gasoline and your insurance and all of the things that go into getting you there to work. But imagine the great relief it would be to the workers of this country and the professionals in this country and the small business owners in, in this country and everybody else who go into driving on our highways. We make them freeways and we generate this energy from outer space and we do it in 10 years and we show the world it can be done. We do it. I am still have two minutes, I think. What we can also do with the, with the resources that we're directing to war, we really bring home our veterans, both those who you know and, and who are injured in every single way from all of the things that we've been asking them to do, and we bring them all home and we put them to work in these enterprises that we're building out of all of this, and we use those skills and technical skills that they have learned uh, in their service to this country, and, and we, we help heal them and we put them to work, and, and we guarantee them a college education. Well, and what else we could do with the money that we have if we stop spending trillions on destructive militarization, that that we, we, we also relieve from our businesses, primarily small businesses all across this country and the great corporations that, that are our corporations, uh, the burden of health care. We just simply redirect those uh, millions, that billions that we, we spent uh, overall in this country for the most expensive health care system in, in the world and we actually use a small, much smaller portion of that and we produce uh, essentially Medicare for all if you want to start there but, but essentially recognizing that health care uh, is something that that is a right, a human right and, and that we do the very best job that the world can see and we do that and, and we also educate our children and, and we do that at least through junior college as, 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 as the standard uh, free for all. And, and for those young people who at, at, at age 18, as they become adult and they want to spend a year of valuable service that they have been preparing for ever since they were 16, to go out and, 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 and spend a year and come back and have their four-year college degree insured and for those who do two years of service perhaps a master's for all and imagine such a well educated workforce who are free of student loans and while we're at it let's take just a small portion of this horrible militarization budget that we have and just simply forgive all of the student loans that are outstanding in this country today we just simply the government takes them on and begins to negotiate their redemption and, and, and does that, you know, just uh, uh, as a matter of eminent domain, it just simply relieves our young, most productive people in this country from their student loan debt as it exists today, period. And we, at the same time, by and large, make education a, a public right. And we do all of this at still a small cost of what we are spending on our military. My time is up. That is the image, among others, that we talk about in this little brochure. It's available on usvra.us and y4vra.org. And um, I started off my talk today, and what I really wanted to talk about instead of doom and gloom. These are my notes that I didn't really get to before I got started. Today, today, let's talk about tomorrow the way it should and could be instead of war. Let's talk about peace. Those were my notes as I then said what I have to say, but in closing, as I think I, we have to remember, what is it? Speak out, register, vote, 
defend your rights of liberty and protect your consent to be governed.